You would wish to buy picture postcards, Signor? The Roman Forum, the Capitol, the Colosseum? Thank you. I always take my own. Perhaps the Signor would appreciate relics, very rare, or colorful Vatican stamps. No, not today. Thank or you. this, very lucky, Signor, infallible protection on a day such as this. My good man, how does this day differ from any other? Friday the 13th, Signor. No, not the 13th. And a Friday. Friday the 13th? This is murder. most disquieted, Signor. You again. So would you be disquieted if you knew Martha. Martha, Signor. Beautiful. Beautiful? The opera, Signor. No, I mean my wife. Oh. We've been married 25 years ago today, and that was Friday the 13th. Not to your lucky day, Signor. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that uh, to a stranger, but she's rather dictatorial, if you know what I mean. Hold yourself up straight, she says. Keep your shoulders out. Walk with a swing. I try to remember. She'd never forgive this lapse of memory. I understand. Husband and wife in Rome on a vacation with so much to see, purchasing a gift, slipped your mind. No, it won't have slipped hers. And the shops are closed till tomorrow. Too bad. Again, may I suggest uh, this uh, lucky charm? Oh, she'd throw it in my face. Then, uh, what do you want, Signor? Something good, eh? Something exquisite, which the Signora will appreciate. Well, if she doesn't appreciate it, I... In trouble, Signor? You need to be disturbed no longer. I have just what you need. Old, exquisite. Well, it's another relic. A bowl in silver. Superbly carved. Been in my family since the year 1600. Well, then you can't possibly wish to part with it. For you, perhaps. And uh, for the right of price. Uh, well, with regard to the matter of price, I... Uh... Please, Signor, what have you to lose by seeing it? Yes, indeed, as you say, what have I to lose? Please to wait here, Signor. But you're quite sure it's safe to wait here? Safer than facing an angry wife, Signor. One moment only, fool. No, I don't want 40. It's a bonissima quality. 50 lire. No, mio molto broco. Oh, signore. Oh, it's you. See, am I not right? Is it not superbly carved? Yes, it's very nice, but of course, but it's rather shabby, isn't it? There is nothing that a little polish will not correct, signore. Only 50,000 lire. 50,000 lire. Let me see. That would be almost... Uh, that would be about 30 pounds. I don't think I've got that amount of money on me. 30,000. Uh, no, I hardly think... 30,000? Uh, 30, 30. Yes. The silver alone no, is worth... No, another day, perhaps. Thank you. It's very... Uh, you have, um... 20,000. Rather than your wife disappointed on her anniversary. Oh, I don't know even that she'll like it. She will treasure it until her dying day. Signor, let me congratulate you both. Many, many thanks. Oh.
dare to bring me a gift that belongs in a junkyard. On our anniversary, too. But, my love, the man assured me that the silver alone was worth 30,000 liri. Stand when you speak to me. And how much should you pay if I pray? 20,000 liri. Wasn't that a bargain? You'll take it right back in the morning and you'll insist upon getting your money. Yes, my sweet. Think you should insult me. You'll take it back. Do you hear? Yes, except... Um, except what? Well, you see, the man took me through so many little back streets that I'm not certain I can find the way. You'll find it all. Else? Archibald. Yes, dear? Hold yourself straight. Walk with a swing. Yes, dear. Now, this one, Signore, is as fine a watch as you will find anywhere in Rome. Good morning, Signor. Uh, will you excuse me, Don Oh, of course. Um, I was uh, uh, wondering if perhaps you could uh, perhaps, uh, make me an offer for this uh, uh, silver bowl. Pardon me, but this is not a pawn shop, Signor... Uh... Uh, Signor Mika, Archibald Mika. Uh, Signor Mika. Yes, uh, I thought perhaps seeing that... Um, how much, Signor? You mean, how much did I give for it? No, no. How much will you sell it for? Well, I know, of course, it's uh, difficult to fix the value of an object, so perhaps you could make me some suggestion. 700,000 lira. Uh, 700... Uh, that's nearly 400 pounds. All right, I will make it 800,000. I... But, oh, I don't feel well. My apologies. None of my business, of course, but perhaps the gentleman does not feel too well because the price is too small. But... but it's fabulous. I've only paid 20,000 for it. So you will accept my offer? No. Oh, dear me, no, if it's as valuable as all that. You will take it to other jewelers, eh? Uh, sell to the highest bidder. But I must take it back to the man who sold it to me. He can't possibly know the value of it. Don't you agree with me, sir? Frankly, I feel that Diogenes searched for his honest man in the wrong century. But I've looked everywhere for the poor fellow's home. How am I to find him? First, permit me, please, to introduce myself. Charlie Chan, formerly detective with Honolulu Police Force. Oh, uh, yes, I've heard of you, Mr. Chan. Thank you. Now, second, all detective eyes would be very happy to help you search for salesmen of most valuable bull. Well, be most grateful, Mr. Chan. Uh, I shall return later about the watch. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, who is it? This is Rolla speaking. Listen, two men, uh, Signor Chan and the Signor Mika, have just left. With a ball which could only have come from our friend Roberto. Roberto? Yes. And when I tell you that... This particular ball is almost priceless. I understand entirely. Where do these two men go to now? To our one-time friend's place, if they can find it. If they cannot, you must find them. Sure, we passed the Pantheon, and yet... And yet you still do not recognize the street, Mr. Maker. Well, I'm really completely at sea. They all look alike to me. See, it's rather difficult, Mr. Chan, because the sun was in my eyes. Oh, sun was in your eyes. What hour was that, Mr. Maker? Well, that would be after six, nearly sunset. Oh, then you are looking in the wrong direction. You are looking toward the east. Sun sets toward the west. Oh, well, then it must be that street, then. Yes, yes, it could quite easily be that street. Then let us investigate, hmm? Yes, we're getting warm, Mr. Chan. Uh, yes, that's the street, and I'm... Yes, there's the door. Oh, good, we shall knock. Uh, my name is Mika, Archibald Mika, and this is Mr. Chan, the well-known detective. Mr. Chan, of course. I am Roberto Ricci. And the reason for your visit, Signore? Ah, uh, one moment, please. Mr. Mika, is this the gentleman? 
No, but I'm sure he went in here. I'm sorry, Signore. You have me at a disadvantage. But if you would care to come in? Oh, thank you. There you go. Well, this is very rather funny. This doesn't look like the kind of place where he would have lived. Uh, who, Signor? A little man, uh, rather a shabby individual, if I may say so. I must find him. He sold me a bowl. Uh, Mr. Chan knows all about it. Ah, yes, I think I understand, Signor. Some little man sold you an expensive bowl as a work of art. Oh, as an heirloom. And as an heirloom, and then, of course, you found out its true value. Hmm? Yes, I did indeed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Signor. You are, of course, mistaken in the house. I live here alone. Well, then there's no, uh, little man? No, senor, no little man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you should have been taken in by such a shady trick. But, of course, to tourists, these things happen all the time. Yes, but it wasn't a shady trick. The bowl's genuine. Genuine? Yes, seemingly so. Here it is. May I see? Yes, with pleasure. Yes. This is quite remarkable. May I ask, Signor, how much you pay for this? At 20,000 lire. 20,000 lire. You are very lucky, Signor. Obviously, this little man, he make a big mistake. Uh, Signor, I would like to have this bowl for myself. I will buy it from you for twice what you gave for it. Twice, 20, 40, 20. Oh, very kind of you, but I've already been offered 800,000 uh, lire. That's why I must get it back to its rightful owner. Oh, but, Signor... Uh, one moment, please. Signor Ricci, may I? Mr. Maker, I have what might be useful suggestion. If this bowl is truly valuable heirloom, then perhaps curator of famous Roman National Museum would have record of family in question. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Ricci. Please forgive inadvertent intrusion. Yes, si, Signore. Delighted to have met you. Thank you. Sworn that was the house, but I suppose I must be mistaken. Perhaps not mistaken. But now we must get to the museum. What you have done. Oh. You have sold the real one. The real one? Who? Oh. Did I not always tell you this is where the real one is kept? They're on the way to see the curator of the National Museum. You must get it back. And here, take this with you. You may have to do a switch. I got mixed up. I cannot tell you how sorry. Then don't try. Go! Senor Chan. Your name is well known, even to those of us who are, well, somewhat removed from the 20th century. As one who has already begun to feel like not too valuable antique, your words are most gratifying. <laughs> Please sit down, Signore. Thank you. So you wanted to see me. I think you mentioned a bowl. Yes, it is here. Beautiful. How did you get it? Mr. Mika bought it for what apparently is a very modest price. You bought this cheaply, senor. Uh, would you call uh, 20,000 uh, cheap? Dollars? Uh, no, a lire. At uh, 1,700 to the pound. 20,000 pounds would be cheap, senor. Yeah, well, eh? My museum will willingly pay you 50,000 pounds for this article. Would you please explain why bowl is so valuable? Because it is by Benvenuto Cellini. Cellini? Who is he? The greatest worker in metals of the 16th century, perhaps of all time. Really? Look, you can see the sea. Oh, yes. His own monogram. Well, I must be dreaming or something. But if this ball is genuine, then surely it already should be in a museum. Is that not so? There are private collectors, of course. Uh, Mr. Roberto Ricci. 
Could he be one of these private collectors? Roberto Ricci. Observe you have heard the name before. Indeed, yes, who hasn't in the world of antiques and art objects. But Mr. Ricci said he'd never seen the bow before. Mr. Ricci could be a very good liar. However, much better liar with mouth than with eyes. Tell me more about Mr. Ricci. He will sell, let us say, a Chilini bowl. But he refuses to guarantee its authenticity. I believe I can see further trend of deal. Purchaser calls in an expert. Expert quite honestly declares piece of art as genuine. But later, purchaser discovers said piece of art is a fake. However, too late to take action against Mr. Ricci. Known in American parlance as the switch. Art piece is genuine when viewed by expert. But piece which is later sold is a copy. Because quickness of hand has deceived the eye. I think what happened in present case is quite clear. One of Mr. Ricci's agents, aforementioned little man, he intended to sell fake bowl usually used in switch purposes to Mr. Mika. Unfortunately, he made terrible mistake. He sold original. Then you think the bowl belongs to Mr. Ricci? Oh, no, no. It belongs to you. And very legally, for the purchase price of 20,000 lira. But what, uh, what am I to do with it? I suggest you discuss that with Mrs. Mika. Meanwhile, I shall discuss Mr. Ricci with the police. Oh, most grateful you have been very kind. Now, Mr. Mika, you will go straight to your hotel, hmm? I certainly will, Mr. Cham. I just can't wait to tell Martha the value of the gift she spurned. Your triumph is most understandable. I shall be in touch with you. Oh, I do beg your pardon, miss. I beg yours? No, it can't be. It is. Mr. Archibald Meeker. Well, that's my name, but we met in London last year. I am Count Vesky. Oh, well, how do you do? I don't have to ask how you are, Mr. Mika. Your fame has spread. My fame? The bowl. The jeweler you took it to was a talkative soul. The story is all over Rome. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised if it's in the evening papers. Oh, well, well. Uh, don't tell me that that is the famous article. Yes, yes, I don't know whether this is quite a suitable covering. May I such a see place. it? Yes, with pleasure. Out of this world. Mm. <laughs> and there is the sea for Jolene. Yes, yes. Do you mind if I look at it in the direct sunlight? But why not? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Wonderful. A real work of art. Who oh, but Jolene could have made a bowl like that? Yes. Who indeed? You are a very fortunate man, Mr. Mika. I am aware of that. Guard it well. There are many people who would, um, oh no, to relieve you of such a precious article. Mm. It has been a great pleasure to talk to you. And even to touch such a glorious acquisition. Charmed, uh, Count uh, um, uh, Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Yes. Situation seems quite clear, Inspector. Richie, big time operator, employs little man to do dirty work. Little man intended to sell fake bowl to Mr. Meeker, but made a great mistake. A fatal one, perhaps. Richie is a ruthless man. And with really big money involved. Scusi. Pronto? It's for you, Charlie. Oh, thank you. Charlie Chan speaking. Uh, Mr. Chan, a most terrible thing has happened. The the bowl has been stolen. Stolen? Ah, uh, hold for one moment, Mr. Meeker. Please continue, Mr. Meeker. Yes. Yes, I can only suppose it's what you uh, called uh, a switch. Made by whom? By, uh, by a man calling himself Count Arivar uh, Dvesky. Yes, a, a tall, thin, oh, very genial, and uh, he had a, a Van Dyke beard. Van Dyke? All right, Senor Meeker. This is Inspector Galvani. Stay where you are until we need you. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Many thanks. 
Van Dyke Beard. Could this also be one of Ritchie's operators? He used to be. It is a man named Bernini, a great artist at what you call your switch game, now working on his own. But at least we know where to find him. Then let us do so immediately. Strangled. I would say only a few minutes ago. Of course, the ball has disappeared. Naturally. There may be clues. We will check for fingerprints, take photographs, the usual routine. There is an immediate clue, Inspector. However, like the air above a bowl of roses, it cannot be photographed. Let us hasten. slight fragrance of perfume in the room now, which means, I suppose, Mr. Ritchie is not here, hmm? He has been gone some time. You are a little man who sold Mr. Meek at the pole. Your black eye indicates Mr. Ritchie's displeasure at your actions. No, no, senor. It was Bernini he gave it to me. Oh. Then let us talk, hmm? What about? The murder of Mr. Bernini. Dead. I had nothing to do with it. Really? Nothing? All right. Bernini attacked me out there in the street. Do you blame me for telling, Signor Ricci? Oh, no, on the contrary, I'm most grateful for your assistance. Now, I would like to see genuine Cellini Ball. However, if it is not here, would like to see the imitations. There are no imitations, Signor. Be much wiser for you to cooperate. I know you are not very wise in selling genuine Ball by mistake for imitation, but I know you are wise enough to save yourself from murder charge. I swear I do not know anything, Signor. I do not believe you. Thank you. Most amazing collection. They are all fakes, senor. Yes, I understand. Great pity so much artistry wasted for crooked purposes. Now tell me, where's Mr. Ritchie? How would I know? Perhaps buying his airplane ticket to Paris. For having committed murder, hmm? Stand still. Put your hands above your heads. As you say, Mr. Chan, because he has committed murder. And now, regretfully, it appears that he will have to commit three more. Well, Mr. Chan, you have had a long and successful career as a detective. But now I am afraid it is coming to an end. Everything, Mr. Ritchie, comes to an end sooner or later. Turn around, Mr. Chan. I have a civilized dislike of shooting a man when I cannot see his eyes. At your service. The prisoners are yours, Inspector. Grazie. I shall be content with the Cellini Paul. Avanti. Rest up. Sorry, Archibald, I can't help it. It still looks like junk to me. Please, Martha, you cheapen yourself. Don't show your ignorance. As you say, dear. Most remarkable. Benvenuti Cellini has been dead for many hundreds of years. Yet he still creates miracles. My sincere congratulations to you both. And may your bowl of happiness be as genuine as this one. 